Hey, how are you? Jack Scalfana here, and you're cooking with Jack. And today's episode is iPad in the kitchen. That's right, you never thought you'd be able to use the iPad in the kitchen, but I'm gonna show you how many ways you can. This device is amazing. Now, I know some of you international people, uh, you're not gonna see one of these in your area until about May, from what I've been reading. But I got one of these the day it came out here in America, and I'm gonna give you a sneak preview, just a little sneak preview, of exactly what it looks like, all right? So why don't we get into this and start the show? Okay, so let me show you the first application that excited me the most. We're just gonna start with the best first. It's kinda like the way I like to do things. This one's called Epicurious. When I saw this, it just blew me away. There isn't a recipe that isn't in this thing. The Cook's Companion. All right, this is how it works. You just go ahead and uh, do a search. Let's say we're gonna do, let's do meatloaf. You just type it in right in the search box, you hit done. Watch this, look how fast that is. Look at this, turkey meatloaf, rustic French meatloaf, regular meatloaf, yummy mummy meatloaf, unbelievable. Meatloaf berry, uh, baby arugula and Russian dressing on whole grain bread. Turkey meatloaf with mushroom and, er mushroom and herbs, can't even talk, my mouth's watering. Buffalo uh, meatloaf with spinach and roasted baby potatoes. Look at this, look at this list and all the pictures will load in, and uh, unbelievable. Picnic meatloaf, red onion meatloaf. The recipes are endless, and they go on and on and on. So check this out, it's called Epicurious. And the best part is, let's, let's take one of these. Let's take the rustic French meatloaf. You just tap it. Here's all your ingredients. And it even prints out a shopping list for you. Can you believe that? So there's the ingredients, and then when you're done with the ingredients, checking them out, you just go ahead and click it away. If you need the ingredients, hit the ingredients button again. There it is. And there's your directions. Real simple. Look how short these recipes are. This is all about me. I'm telling you, this is all short and easy recipes. The best part is you click the about button. It tells you who put the recipe out, when it came out, who took the photo, everything about it. Then you click that away. And then you get to click here and people who are using this app on their iPad or iPhone, these are their reviews. They tell you how much they liked it. They rate it between one and four forks. Really amazing. Let's do another search here real quick. Let's do French onion. Let's do French onion. I want to do French onion soup search. Let's see how many. Wow. See how fast that came up? This thing's lightning fast. There's French onion soup. 90% of the people who made this recipe, it says right here, would make it again. French red onion soup, onion tart with mustard and fennel. Ugh, I don't know if I'd do that one. Uh, chicken bouillabaisse. Uh, so let's, do, let's look at this, French red onion. Oh no, let's do this one, French onion soup. There's your ingredients. There's your instructions. Ooh, that looks delicious. I wonder if we can bring up pictures on that. Yeah, look at that. There's your French onion soup, it's what it should look like. Tap it, it goes away. Ingredients again, it's easy to move around. Piece of cake. Hit the back button, you wanna go back to your master list again and choose for any of these thousands of recipes. It's called Epicurious. Uh, it even does drinks. Let me see if I can get us over there. Oh yeah, here we go. You can even do drinks. Isn't that unbelievable? Different beverages, food and beverage. It's a free app on the iPad and it's like my favorite. It's the one I'm most excited about. The other app I'm excited about is the Food Network app. There it is. I can watch any video I want at any given time. I can look at Good Eats. Which one was I watching the other day? Oh yeah, the Standing Rib Roast. That looked delicious. There you go. You just turn it sideways. So the video comes up, just hit play, and you're good to go. Look at that. That's a beautiful picture. Amazing, that's the Food Network. You can watch any one of their chefs cook their meals. This is great in the kitchen, just follow them along. The next one is, uh, where is it? Oh yeah, it's called Kitchen Pro. 
This does all my conversions for me. Teaspoons, tablespoons, cups. Let's say I'm doing, let's do cups to, I don't know, let's do grams. We want to convert one cup of sugar. How many grams is that for you international viewers? Sugar. Let's do powdered to grams. Okay, and we're going to do one cup. There you go. One cup equals 120 grams. It's that fast. And it's called Kitchen Pro, and it converts all your measurements. For those of you watching my show, you can use this to convert the American measurements into international measurements. That's another helpful tool right there in the kitchen. Unbelievable. I've got iBooks, the iBook store. Let's go to my library right now. And let's go to a cookbook. Look how sweet that is. It's beautiful. Just turn the pages, maple syrup. What do I want to make today? Maple syrup for garnishes. The, it's called the Ultimate Cookbook. There's a huge store of just recipe book after recipe book. Here's apple matzo bray pancakes. Must be in the breakfast section. But it's all amazing. Malt waffles. And you just keep turning. You can go back. You can bookmark it. You can make the, the type bigger in the, in the recipe book. You can change the font. You can do whatever you want. All right, let's go to the next one. Wow, this thing's so cool. Now, I don't drink alcohol, but for some of you who want to make drinks, you're going to need an app for that. That's right, there's an app for that. So I'm going to do a search on uh, cocktails and wine. Let's see what comes up here. Here's one. It's called Coffee Table Cocktails. This looks pretty cool. This will teach you how to, uh, how to make any drink in the list. Pretty huge list, too. Let's show you how easy it is to load up an app on this iPad. All right, first you take a look at the app. There it is, right? And everybody knows you can examine it. Wow, there's hundreds of drinks here. This will teach you everything about making cocktails. All right, looks good for me. I want it. I'm going to buy it. It's $4.99. Just press buy. Whoops, can't let you guys see my password, so I'll have to edit this out. Okay, and password's in. And there it is. It's loading right there. Take a few seconds, then I'll have the coffee table app. Yes, I am 17 and over. And it's that good. Should load up in a few seconds. Then I'll be able to make the most incredible cocktails ever. And I guess I'll just give them to my neighbors. Amazing stuff here on this baby. The iPad, it's huge in the kitchen. So much to do. Endless videos for cooking, endless recipe books. In the, uh, you got the iBook store. And also, if you can't find it in the iBook store, let me show you this real quick. There it is. The Amazon Kindle is in, on here. It's absolutely beautiful. And you can read any book that's on the Kindle too, right here on the iPad. Let me go back to, I know I have a cookbook here somewhere. I think it's, oh, there it is, yep. Julia Child, Julia's Kitchen. This is amazing. I don't know if you know, uh, if you ever saw the movie Julie and Julia, but this is one of Julia Child's books. There it is, the iPad in the kitchen. That's just a taste of a few things you can do in the kitchen with this bad boy. I love this thing. I take it shopping. It's got all my recipe books in here. I don't have anything else now. It's nothing but this. In fact, next week, we're going to be doing the French onion soup recipe that we showed you on the iPad. I'm going to be using this bad boy, and we're going to make it. It's going to be delicious. I can't wait. That is next week's episode. One more tip before you go. If you have uh, some concerns about getting food all over the screen, just take one of these Ziploc baggies here, all right? Drop it in. I haven't tried this, so we're gonna try it for the first time. I was told this works. There, now you got a case for it too. Let's turn it on and see if that works. Yeah, there it is. All right, so let's just uh, unlock the screen. All right, look at that. <laughs> it's great, right through the plastic. All right, listen. Take care, French onion soup next week. We'll see you on the next episode of Cooking with Jack.